this computer. And then um, I guess I guess uh, I'm gonna share my screen, Amanda. Uh, we kind of go over the workbook and you know wrap it up, start everybody strong, and uh, you know let's kill to um, 2023 together. Love it. We may be co-host so I can let people in. Sorry. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm so excited. Oh, I can't believe it's already the middle of December, y'all. It's time to get yeah. going for 2023. All right, I'm gonna share my screen. Agent attraction workbook. Number four. Awesome. Uh, well, so uh, good morning, everybody. You know, uh, man, uh, the, 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 the last six weeks, we, we just learned so much, right? You know, from building your big list to follow up, you know, and then plugging two people to event. So today, you know, me and Amanda, you know, we really want to tie everything up um, um, together you know, um, go over the work chart. And especially, um, you know, I, I actually, Amanda, I actually found this amazing attraction workbook just now. I know that uh, you told me before, but uh, I, I just think that this is a really, really good um, um, resource, you know, just kind of tie everything up, you know, to make it a final week of our sprint. And then, uh, you know, we can start 2023 uh, really strong. What do you think, Amanda? I'm so excited. So okay. this, this was intended for it when it, anytime we go to retreats or things, we kind of make something like this. And so the first several pages is just notes. So we can kind of skip over that for now. But like, if you guys start to come up with notes or lists or ideas, or as you're taking classes, you can kind of fill it out. Um, it's kind of fun to have. Yeah. I'm a note taker. So I give you way too many pages. Yep. And, um, and I guess um, we, we can go over the work chart a little bit, uh, Amanda, uh, you want to go uh, over the content and then me and you, we can just kind of chit chat about the content, kind of go over the book with everybody and show them how to use it. Yeah. So this is pretty much anything from, you know, why people would join EXP to how to invite them to the opportunity to what to do once they join the, the opportunity. So, um, you know, there's many different reasons why people join EXP and these are just kind of, it'll kind of go over in general. All the different value propositions. Um, it's really hard to sell something you don't know about. So, you know, as you're new, just go, hey, have you met my sponsor? Oh my gosh, my senior business partner is amazing. But your goal long term is to really research and know what you signed up for, know the value proposition. Yeah, yeah. So you don't have to do the selling, um, you know, but um, but kind of know, you know, like um really understand the number. Um, you know, it's it's gonna help, you know, just just kind of um just it's going to resonate with you and, and tell you the reason why you should do it right you know like hey why do i spend the time to help the other agent on the other side of the table rather than you know just focus on my own business right you know helping buyer helping seller um, um as far as the number um i do want to go over that a little bit you know it's really simple you know it's just 3.5 percent of the agent gross commission so let's say you know if the agent that you sponsor into the company it make um, they make a fifteen thousand dollar in gross commission and then next month, the company, you know, out of that 20% that they send into EXP, you will automatically get a check for $525, right? And then it's, it's just going to continue every time they close a deal until they cap. Um, it goes all the way down to seven level. And the way that you're going to unlock the second level is to, you have to personally bring in five productive agent. And, uh, and, by, uh, and what I mean by five productive agent, is that um, you know that agent? It need to have a personal production. Their production it need to be at least a gross commission income of I believe five thousand dollar for every six month, right? Which is super achievable. And if you can do just that, you will go ahead and unlock your second level. So that that person, if they're gonna bring in anybody, you will get paid even more than the first level. And then you know it just cascaded all the way until the seventh level. And that is how we're gonna build and build revenue share organization. And this is how we can level each other. Yep. This is a really great example too. Like, hey, if I could show you how to make twenty-eight thousand dollars in passive income, and it'll kind of go over different examples. And so, all of this, it's a it's a pretty long book, but kind of flip through it and go, oh, this makes sense, or this is you know relatable for me, and it's really helpful once you kind of get those concepts to be able to share those with other people. Yep. 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 Um, but yeah, um, this is a really good point, um, Amanda. I, I really want to um, to to kind of focus on this a little bit. Um, I believe that the, the, the definition of the sponsor is kind of shift, you know, as we move, you know, to EXP, you know, back then, right, you know, when we, you know, when nobody heard about EXP, and then we usually say like, hey, well, whoever you heard first about, you know, whoever tell you first about EXP, they're going to be your sponsor, right? Unfortunately, right now, it's, it's rarely the case now, because 
you know, just like, you know, what you put right here, just because you are the one who taught them about EXP, you know, you don't, don't assume that you will, you, you, you automatically be their sponsor. And, uh, and, and, and this is, you know, EXP as a brand is getting so, it's, it's getting so, so, you know, um, huge, right? Um, um, that, that particular agent, you know, it might be approached, you know, by multiple people who, uh, who taught them about EXP, but at the end of the day, you know, they will, you know, the, the choice of them naming the sponsor is going to be up to that particular agent. And then they will go with the people that they have, you know, um, uh, that they have the most relationship with. Any comment on this, Amanda? Uh, unsolicited advice. I've seen this a lot lately where people will be like, oh, I talked to Joe for a year and a half and then he signed up under Nancy and they're so frustrated. And what I found is someone could have a really high level conversation with someone and if you, you know, kind of strike while the iron's hot and set an appointment with your senior business partner, go, oh my gosh, you've got to go talk to Hui or you need to have coffee with Amanda. The people who have a conversation on a Monday and have coffee by Thursday have that person signing up by Friday. And then the person who kind of just chit chatted and kind of went on it on their own and they just thought that they could just have conversations by themselves, didn't really show the level of collaboration, never closed a deal. So if you have anyone interested or that you've been talking to, instantly just assume nobody, even I don't go at it by myself. I bring in someone else, um, set an appointment with a senior business partner, and I'm telling you, you'll close them so much faster. Yeah. So, you know, don't sell, you know, build relationships because, um, you know, um, this, uh, this is actually a really big, you know, uh, decision for, for that agent, right? So they, they, they will, you know, they, they will really take the time to, you know, to, to make sure you are the right, you know, sponsor and show that to them, right? Not by selling them about EXV, but really spend the time, you know, to build a relationship with that particular agent and really try to go out your way, you know, to help. Um, to, 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 to help other people business even before they join EXP. And if you can just do that, you know, the, the, the part of them naming you as, as a sponsor, it will come naturally. Yeah, but, but this is a really big point that I want to make right here because, um, uh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Um, reason for joining um, um, EXP, um, I would say that in the, in the beginning, Amanda, uh, you know, instead of selling EXP, you know, if you can just learn how to sell your senior business partner, man, that would just bring you so, so much business already, right? So um, probably one of the reasons uh, uh, why uh, we have a big, really big organization is because I learned how to sell Amanda really well, right? Hey, y'all need to meet Amanda, y'all need to meet Jeff, you know, they are the top number one team in, in, in the world. You know, they have a huge organization, you know, they have a lot of system, a lot of training. Jeff is an expert in KB Call, you need to meet them, right? And, 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 and if you can just set up your sponsor correctly, you know, allow us to do the training, uh, allow us to do the closing for you. I love this. This talks about the, the EXP value proposition. And what's neat is if I asked every single one of you on the Zoom why you joined EXP, you're all going to have completely different answers. Like for me, I had never had stock before. For Jeff, it was the KV core. The revenue share was something that I didn't even bump into until two years later. And so you can kind of mention some different ideas of you know what's what's relevant to that person and what's important to you might be something completely different than what why they would join EXP. So it's really neat. Yeah. Um but yeah, I think we kind of wrapped up the books and then, you know, we're going to, we're going to go over the work chart and then I really want to open up the floor, you know, you know, to close up, um, to close up today's session. Um, um, we go over, you know, um, the, the video that, um, um, the video, the, the video series that we did, right. It, um, it great. It talk about, you know, building a big list and over here, you can find a lot of information on how to, you know, um, on how to put together a, a, a list that's going to grow your business, right. So, you know, the target, the target list criteria, people who, people who have gotten in touch and asked you about EXP, people you have relationship with in the industry for why, even if they're not in real estate, people that you don't know uh, that well, but think they will do great at EXP, right? They are an influencer at all, at, at all the market, you know, and, and you just have to spend the time to, uh, you know, to keep them in, 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 in your awareness. And then, um, yeah, people who like and respond to your post about EXP, definitely keep chat with them. So, you know, you, you, you would think that you don't know anybody, you know, but um, the, the more I go to the list, the more that I can write down a lot of name and it, 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 it just, it, and, and it just it doesn't matter, right? You might not think that, hey, you know, that person never, you know, John EXP, like completely wrong, right? That uh, you, you cannot project that into them. Just put their name down and try to figure out a way to add into their business. 
You never know. I, I don't think they're on the Zoom, but Macy popped on earlier and she has a, a large team of eight agents. And she, we met a couple of weeks ago. She came from a title company lead, actually, a title company sent her my way. And uh, she went to talk to her broker about EXP and why she was leaving. And the broker was like, that sounds like a great idea. And he's bringing his whole brokerage over. And so really like just keep the, the conversation open with everybody because you never know these days. Yeah. Here's some sample scripts of what to say, how to invite them. Everyone will kind of find their own flow. There's like a hard sell. There's a soft sell. There's a, you know, building relationships, bringing value sell. So whatever connects with you, there's lots of options in this book. Yeah. Um, so the script, um, you know, you, um, um, you know, the script you can read in detail here, but I would like to say that, um, you know, learn how to use a script, you know, to like, like, um, like the script say be in a hurry. So for example, when you set up your business um, uh, partner, right? Like somebody that's gonna help you with an agent, you know, don't, don't, don't tell the agent that like, hey, you know, please meet, you know, Amanda, you know, she, uh, um, she's a rock star, but she have all the time in the world for you, right? She's available 24 seven, you can call anytime, right? It's just the wrong way to set people up. And if you, uh, if you do that, and then, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna be very hard for us to, to kind of, you know, to get on 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 a superstar, uh, local superstar status, if you will, to close the lead. So something like you know, like hey, you know, Amanda, she run she run a really big team. She um, she have multiple investments. She's extremely busy. But I can, but if I can just grab her for twenty minutes, would you be interested? You know, to having a conversation with her. That would be the right way to set people up, right? So be in a hurry. You know, always give other people a sincere compliment. You know, and then you make your invitation, right? Only twenty minutes. But if if I would you. I use that all the time. Yeah, and then this is important, right? Get off the phone. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people they 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 you know they get into the habit of of, of chit chatting and 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 all of a sudden you know you kind of dilute the conversation and um and it just you know doesn't work, right? They they start asking asking you about EXP. They they start asking you about me about um you know your senior business partner, and then you kind of give out you know all your bait already, and then you know so so what's the point of us meeting that particular um, people, right? So yeah, the, if you do it right, you know the 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 phone the phone call it should be less than it should be less than five minutes, I would say. Uh, you 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 give you be in a hurry, you give them a compliment, and then you get off the phone, right? And even if, you know, like being a hurry part, I actually make it a purpose. Like, hey, I'm going to make the phone whenever I'm running out, you know, to my listing appointment. That way I, I'm going to be really in a hurry. I don't have, you know, 10 minutes on the phone. I have I have five minutes. So I kind of put myself in that situation and the other person, they will feel it. Yep. Yeah, so leverage your business partner, you know, um, uh, don't don't do it by yourself. You know, this it's, it's a two part, right? That's an invitation, and that's going to be a closing part, right? So if you do the invite, somebody else is going to do closing. If you do the closing, somebody else do the invite. Smoke and mirror. <laughs> da, da, da. All right. So let me bring up the. Um, yeah, there's so many good things here. Amanda, so thank you so much for, for, for There's some really cool together. cheat sheet links. Like if you scroll up, there's some really like the Brent Go website, the Jake Kinder. They're just these are people who have over 5,000 people in their group. Like follow them, they've got it figured out. Um, and then this is the onboarding checklist for anyone who's like, okay, I'm ready to join. There's so many things that you forget to go, oh, don't forget to set up your email or do a discovery call or let's do a strategy session or a launch call. And so everything is on that checklist. One is for the new agents. And then this next one right under it is for you as a sponsor, like a great sponsor is going to do scroll down, this. So you'll, you'll talk to five people a day. You're going to follow up with your downlines. You're going to do their business launch. Now we're doing launch parties in person. Now that COVID's kind of over, it's really fun. You know, make sure they've got a headshot, do their announcement. Cindy can help with that. Um, but little things that you should do along the way that just we get busy and forget about. So it's a fun checklist. Yeah. And then um, if the PDF doesn't work for you, you know, I actually make a Trello board, um, you know, just from the PDF. Um, so just a little bit uh, about Trello, you know, it looked just like this, but except that you can actually move this item, you can move them back and forth. And then, you know, your, 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 your agent, you know, whenever they complete the task, they can move it over to another column, you will get notified and you can keep each other accountable. So Sydney, if you have my, my Trello link, um, you can go ahead and drop it down to the, to the group. So that way, you know, uh, that is a template. You can just click on a template and then you will create your personal board. And then you would invite, you know, um, the agent and then you would put yourself on the board and then, you know, it's going to be a very interactive checklist, right? 
everybody is different. Everybody have different, you know, uh, strength and weakness. You can go ahead and, and kind of customize their onboarding process that kind of tailor to them, right? Do you want to learn more about social social media? You can go to workplace. You can put up some 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 classes about social media in there for them. So that way they that way they can take the training, right? If they want to learn about investment, you can find classes and book related to investment. You can put it on a checklist for them, spread it out. You know, three week, four four week onboarding process, and then you know kind of keep each other accountable. Yeah, so definitely follow the checklist and then check out Trello I mean, um, the more I use Trello Board, the more I manage to use it. And actually, our founder Glenn Stanford, he used it too. So we kind of, you know, we we kind of organize our life pretty much about uh, around Trello now. <laughs> it's amazing. At first, I was like, oh, another app. Like I can't have another login. I can't store anything <laughs> new. And it's amazing. So I added the link there. Here's yeah. like, yeah, I'm going to call these people this month to make a list. Here's like, you know, new beliefs. Like, hey, my family, you know, deserves mm -hmm. it. TXP is an amazing company. I have to share what's good. Um, so anything you need to do to kind of get in the right mindset. Yeah, yeah. I think the biggest uh, limiting belief, um, especially um, uh, a new agent have is, you know, number one, I see that, hey, um, I don't know enough, you know, to to help the other agent, right? I'm new. I don't know anything. You know, you, you need to, you know, uh, put this one out here. And put on the new belief right here. It's like, hey, you know, I have access to all the rock stars in the world. If I can just connect my friend, you know, the person I talk with, you know, to, um, you know, to Hui, to Amanda, you know, to to your sponsor, and then, you know, you know, hope, and then I know for sure that you know their life will change as well. So that is gonna be, you know, your new belief, right? Uh, uh, another limiting belief would be like, hey, you know, that person will never join EXP. Oh, I mean, how many times we heard that, and then we see them at EXP. So yeah. many. <laughs> Or I don't sell enough houses to be able to attract a top recruiter or top top producer. Yeah. Well, what what is all the some uh, limiting belief that uh, you uh, you heard lately, Amanda? Mostly, it's Why either I'm new, I don't know, or I don't sell enough houses. And just so y'all know, my sponsor is a professional soccer player. He does not sell houses, so exactly right. Spread everywhere. Does anyone else want to share like a limiting belief of what's kind of getting in your way of taking over the world? Yeah. Anybody? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that Wilco's story is gonna be the best story to share, right? You know, so Wilco, you know, he 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 is a new agent, you know, but one thing he did really good at, um, you know, is he learned how to invite people to event, right? And he just sit people in front of Rufflick and and I think that's all he does for the past two years. Yeah, and he's like a numbers guy, so he's like, if I talk to twenty people and five show up and two sign up then I need to talk to X amount of people to have a 10% conversion rate. And it was totally a numbers game. Like if you said no, he was like, great. I only need nine more, you know? And so he was almost like fired up by that. It's, it's on my to-do It's on my to-do list, Amanda. I, I gotta do, uh, um, you know, I, I, I need to, after I talk with John Sai and after I talk with Wilco, I think, you know, I need to figure, uh, figure out my number. So that way I know exactly like, hey, if I talk to, you know, if I get 19, no, I know my next one is gonna be yes. Yeah. Yeah, those guys, they know their number really, really well, right? I was a total random phone call. Like he found me on LinkedIn and was like, hey, like I'm in Dallas, you're in Houston, we're both in Texas. And that was the only thing we had in common was we were both in Texas. And I was like, why not? I had never heard of it before, so. Yeah, I mean, you can win your way to 1,000 agent, but uh, if, if I can have like a, like a system for me to win, to go to 1,000 agent, you know, I would go with a system. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, if you can win it, work for me. Uh, da, 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 da. let me see that's big for me so like the why right because all of us are like I don't want to make a phone call and I don't want to get uncomfortable and I don't want to talk about a company that it's not you know like it's just like all these reasons of why we shouldn't do it but really think about if you could have forty thousand dollars a month in passive income how would your life look differently like what stress yeah. would go away what would you be able to afford what could you give like to your family you know like we went we just went on a cruise and I got to like sponsor the whole Mexico day right and like cover <laughs> all these different things and people who wouldn't normally even get to go to Mexico or get to see the dolphins or like do cool stuff I was like I get a free refill next month and so kind of put on here like pretend like you have achieved that number your freedom number what would your life look like and that's just so motivating for me yeah and um and 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 just to be real right you know Asian attraction if it's easy everybody would do it right um, this is not easy but it's going to be worth it and and what is going to be worth it for you yeah uh, you know I, I would suggest to to really um sit down and and, and put it in here right what, what does that three thousand dollar mean per month well what would what would that five thousand dollar mean per month for you how would it change your life right and 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 if that changed your life and then is it worth it for you you know to spend an extra one hour uh, one hour per day 
instead of helping buyer and seller, you know, yes, they'll do that. But, you know, hey, I just going to spend another hour per day. I'm going to help all the people with their business, right? And then, you know, if you can just help people uh, enough and give well, what they want, and then eventually um, you get what you want. Yeah, and then actually, right yeah. And then actually, like, uh, the, the joy of helping all the business, I, I don't know, Amanda, tell me, like, that it's just a rush, you know, to actually, like, help, you know, like another person to start a business and to see them successful. You, you just have so much fulfillment, right, in, in, yeah. in, 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 in life. It's yeah. unbelievable. My kids are like, you get paid to help people. Like most of the time you think you're helping people for free, like as, as a charity, but like you get to have your cake of helping people. And then, yeah. So for me, we built out a five-year plan. And I was like, oh, five years is so long. And now we're on year, just over six years at EXP. And I'm telling you, five years goes by so fast. Even if you want to build out a two-year plan, you're going to blink. And we just look at your life now. It just goes by so quickly. Yeah. Um, and this is a good one uh, as well. I, I I want to touch on this a little bit. Um, you know, just like buyer and seller, you kind of have, you know, you kind of know your niche, right? Your ideal client, right? You, you cannot, um, you know, you cannot be everybody cup of tea. So you kind of need to like, um, I will say niche down and see like, hey, you know, where, where, where is the people that I want to attract, right? What, what do, just, yeah, just like this, um, you know, this graphic right here, what, you know, like even go down to the gender, the age, you know, the belief, the routine, the attitude, you know, and then kind of go down and figure it out. So like, hey, what Facebook member, you know, if I want to, you know, um, um, work with, you know, people who has, you know, or who, who, or who has a lot of investment experience, you know, what, what member of Facebook they are with, you know, who, what influencer they follow, right? If I really like grow, if I really like Grand Cardone, and then I, I tend to hang out with, well, with, with the event that Grand Cardone posts, right? Um, I'm going to go to another uh Another event is called the Real Estate Radio Radio Guy Show because I really like the crowd that, you know, the Real Estate Radio Guy Show, I really like the crowd that they bring over. When I go there, I might meet a, a realtor, I might not, but I know that, you know, those type of group, they tend to have my ideal uh, agent over there. So I go there. I put myself in in, in the proximity of, of, you know, of, my, I guess, you know, of, of my bucket, if you, if you will. Yeah. Does yep. anyone know like who their avatar is, their target market? Like for me, anyone over the age of 30, that's like an alpha woman who has a really big vision and is like, I'm willing to put in the work, but I have no idea what the next steps are. Um, that's kind of my niche. I know Sydney's on here and she's like, I'm going to do a young professionals network and I'm going to pick yeah. people under the age of 30 who are just now getting into this. So does anyone have like a, oh my gosh, this is my dream business partner? I know. <laughs> No worries, uh, but yeah, the, 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 the commit to talk to five agent per week for the FLQA. Let me scroll down to the workshop real quick and wow, look at that. Man, Amanda, you put so much work and talking to this book. I think we need to print it out, give it to everybody who come to the, um, who, who, who come to the group. Five a week adds up really quickly. And for me, like I'm having five appointments just today. So I could be done for the whole week, right? So you can just do a Freedom Friday or Wealth Building Wednesday, but just little things like that add up so much. This is helpful. So this is like about, you're skipping all the good stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is like team legacy. So this is kind of our mission statement, right? Like, you know, we want to really help other people be able to be successful. So our vision is to ensure all realtors within EXP and Team Legacy have the tools and leverage they need to exceed their goals, be supported, and confidently go out there and get clients. And here's our core, core value. So we have fun. There's no drama. We really want to collaborate and have integrity and be professional. And they, these next few pages are just little love notes of cool things of what, you know, I feel like we need like 17 pages about how amazing the people here at Team Legacy are, but it's just a few pages. Yeah, so, um, you know, share the mission, um, you know, be, be a part of something bigger than yourself. And then that is just, you know, it's just a really good way, you know, to, to tie people together, right? You know, just like um, in, 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 any, in any movie, you know, there's a superhero and, and there's a villain, right? So you, we, we had, you know, the, the, the mission statement, you know, we're going to identify the villain and then together we're going to put in and we're going to fight that villain, right? So, you know, yeah, fight at home. So, you know, build you know, and, and, and really help, you know, people get, you know, uh, get to their, you know, um, get, get to their freedom number goal. Love it. Yep. Did I, quiz, did, did I skip anything good, Amanda? <laughs> it's fine. Y'all are all winning. You all have a little uh, notebook now. You have the digital version. If you go to the holiday party, we have like 15 or 16 of them. I'm going to bring all of them. 
here's some of our leaders. Here's some things that we have that we we do. Script practice mentor program. We'll create programs like first time home buyer, reload, whatever's important to you. Marketing materials, Sydney. Um, so this is kind of really cool to go. Hey, you know, I've been talking about team legacy, but here's a, a few people who are heavily involved. Yeah. And then here come the work chart, right? So this is a uh, and this is a new and improved version of the work chart. And really, this is a secret of, um, of I get, you know, uh, when it comes to agent attraction. Um, so the way, um, Amanda, feel free to chime in here, you know, so the way I work my work chart, you know, I kind of treat a um, different group, you know, um, you know as, uh, as a prior priority. So for example, um, you know, um, let's say, you know, for, for the FLA, you know, you would, you know, you would have a different conversation versus, you know, your, your leader, if you will, right? You know, so if you log into my.exp.com, exp right now, they actually classify for you, you know, um, who's the leader in your group, who's the builder. So for me, you know, I would put, um, you know, all, all the leader, all the leader and all the builder uh, by the group. And by the way, builder is the one who have, you know, five FLA and the leader is, is the one who have, you know, 10, FL, 10 FLA, right? So I, I, I would put the leader in the general. So these are your general, right? The people who is building with you you would have a different conversation with them, right? Um, a lot of mentorship, a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, um, you know, just a lot of, of, of time and effort, you know, spent into, you know, this group. Um, I would say 80% of my time is spent on a general group, right? Because um, um, follow John Maxwell, uh, John Maxwell uh, principle, you know, if, if, you, if you put 80% of your, of your time, you know, in your top 20% people, you know, the result, you know, will get multiplied. Yeah, so kind of treat this group, you know, like, um, um, you know, um, um, you know, as, as your priority, you know, there's going to be a lot of one, one on one, there's going to be a lot of mentor, mentorship. And then, you know, um, and then this is going to help you how you keep track of, of unlocking your level, right? Remember, we talk about, you know, how five people is going to get you unlocked for the second level of payment. Um, so yeah, um, so if you have, um, so if you have a, a person that you personally recruit, um, go ahead and put their name here. I use a really small sticky note. Um, to, to put them in here so you would have one two three four five you know five you unlock the second level of payment so right now i believe i'm you know i'm on level four um there's a lot of people here on my level five and six that you know so it's kind of get you motivated it's like hey you know in order for me to get you know to unlock my level five you know i need to personally you know attract another five people yeah and then um there's um um that's your, you know, uh, front line, um, front line agent. So these uh, might be the new agent who might be struggle a little bit in your in your business. So do spend some time, you know, to um, to help the new agent as well because the ship is only as strong as, as the weakest uh, as the weakest link, right? So not only you spend time with your general with the FLQA, you know, uh, like me personally, I I always dedicated a lot of time, you know, just to spend time, um, you know, with uh, with any new agent in the group, you know, to make sure if they plugging in you know make sure that they have anything anything they need to uh, you know to start their business and then you know there's a one that in process remember we talk about a follow-up so anybody that you know is, is uh, that you have been following up i would put them in here you know the one that really really close to the fan you know i would i would really put them in here and i, I would try to do anything that i can you know to bring value to 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 this to this group and these um you know just like um the the, the note above on building a list you know, these are the people. It's what I call um, um, it's what I call the blue uh, the blue marlin, if you will, like the blue whale. So these are the people that I really, really like. You know, to 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 partner up with. You know, they they're not necessarily be in you know being real estate. You know, but I would put their name in here. Like, hey, I would really want to have a chance to let's say you know work with Grant Cardone, right? That that's what Hoss said. So Hoss put Grant Cardone name in here, right? So that would be a hit list. And then you're gonna find all you know, all the way that you can to get close to this person, right? Yeah. Uh, and then, um, and then this is your freedom number, right? Everybody freedom number is different, you know, so whatever number it is for you, $5,000 a month, uh, $10,000 a month, $20,000 a month, $50,000 a month, put the number in here and then kind of backtrack it in order for, for, in order for, for you, in order for me to make $10,000, uh, $10,000 $10, agent per month. How many agent that you need that I need to personally recruit it? You know how many people that need to be on my second level, third level, fourth level? Multiply that number so that way you can come up with the exact number of agent that you need to be in the next five years. So this is your five year plan. Any comment on this, Amanda? So a, a fun note is your generals, your your leaders, if you will, 
they can be from any level. They don't just have to be on your front level. Yeah. Um, so, so short term, you want five leaders on your front level, but then long term, you want five leaders on every single level because those people are going to really lead to duplication. Um, and at first you're like, okay, let me just focus on the FLA part, right? And then after a while, when you have so many, you know, 15, 20 FLAs, you'll start to really focus on duplication and it's almost two businesses, but it's, it'll pay you for a lifetime. I love this little love note. Um, what you do with this opportunity will change generations to come. So track it, treat it like a business um, and it'll pay you for a lifetime. Yeah, and the reason we call it a workshop because uh, this thing, it can pass down to, to the children, right? So later on, you know, um, we can show you how to set up a trust and then you can actually pass down your revenue share, you know, to, to um, you know, to your kid and to your grandkid. And that really, you know, from, from a broker point of perspective, any broker that I talk to, you know, is kind of open up their eyes and say like, hey, I can actually, you know, leave this thing out, you know, and, and really, you know, work on it instead of, you know, be in the grind of it forever. Does anyone have any questions on this? I know when I first looked at RevShare, I was like, why don't you put everyone on your seventh level? Like I had, I just didn't get it. I had to look at it a whole bunch. Does anyone have any ahas or questions? Everybody just gets so excited for 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 for, for the event on Thursday. The holiday party. Yeah. Uh, Amanda Hui, can you hear me okay? Yes. Oh, hey, thank you so much. This is so so helpful. On that wealth chart, could you give an example? Like if if somebody said like five thousand a month um, or ten thousand a month was their like goal, how I would help them fill that out that wealth chart? Uh, let me share that again. Um, I think we can make notation in here. Uh, let me see if we can. Would you have someone fill out this as a, um, yeah, can, is this editable online or on the Trello board? Um, or yeah, so what I do, uh, Michelle, I usually print it out. So if you can see, I, um, I on the back of my office, you know, I actually print it out. Um, okay. But yeah, it's on, on the workbook. You know, you can go ahead and, 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 and you know, it's actually in the workbook as well. And it really depends on your group. Like if I have a bunch of new agents, I average like $50 per person per month. So they'll about quarter cap and I'll make about $600 per year off of them. So if you're, if they're more experienced, then of course they're cappers, you're averaging closer to $3,000 per year. So it'd be, you know, over like almost, you know, 250 a month. So you'll kind of find your trend of, of what the average is and kind of backwards engineer it there. I would say the average average is about $65 per person per month. And then that's kind of under underselling it. So if someone comes on in their cappers, they're gonna be pleasantly surprised, but that way that you can kind of do the math of, okay, I wanna make $5,000, I need at least X amount of people. And it's not just on your first level, it's anywhere in your group. Yes, I would say okay. you would need 77 people which is not terrible. It sounds scary, but you know, that might just be 10 people that you bring on. Like just for example, I have like over 900 people in my group, but I've only brought on 55, you know? So if you bring on 10, those 10, two or three of those will just go crazy and you'll get to 77. I see. Yeah, it's exciting. And even in a, it's exponential growth. So at first you're like, okay, I made $300. I made $400 and then it's 1200 and then it's 5,000 and then it's 10,000. Um, last year I was making like 20 and now it's closer to 40 and next year it should be closer to hundred, which is just unbelievable. So be patient with it and really like set a two-year goal to where you can go, okay, within two years, my mortgage is paid for, my car is paid for. And, and that's, it, it's really exciting. It's worth committing that extra hour to. So, so, so what, well, what would you say is the average right now, Amanda, uh, when in, let's say $60,000 per year, would you say like $80, um, would you say $800 per Asian uh, per year? That's reasonable. Let's see what that yeah. is. Yeah, that's 66. Well, I don't like that number. $66 and 67 cents. <laughs> well, I say $65, but you can, I mean, whatever, you'll find a trend of, of, you know, if you're a high producer and you're recruiting mostly just team leaders and producers, it might be closer to 250. For me, I have a lot of people who bring in newer agents who at first are, you know, worth, let's say $50 a month, but within a year, they're worth $85 a month. But on average, I would just for goal setting, say 65 bucks. Okay. So I would say, you know, um, so in, in order for Michelle, you know, to make, you know, to make $5,000 per month for $60,000 uh, $60, per year, she would, her total group count would be 75 agent, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, you know, the average of, uh, of eight hundred dollar per year uh, per agent. Wow. Per year. 
So if you bring on 3.2 people anywhere within your group per month, in two years, you'll be there. Yeah. And at and first it's like, you know, one person and then two people. And then by the end of it, like we have 40, you know, 45 people joining and I only maybe brought one or two of them on. So it's really cool where you'll see at the end of two years, it'll grow whether you like it or not. You've already built it out. So. And, um, and, and, the, and the reason I want to explain the reason we use 800 is that, you know, this, this is actually the company average. Um, the, the bigger your group grow, you know, the, 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 the modest number is going to drop. But I think, you know, 800 is a good estimate. For, for a group of 75 agents. And again, right, it's all depend on who you bring over. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, you know, not everybody that you're gonna bring in, they're gonna be Kappa. Not everybody that you're gonna bring in is gonna be Icon agent. You know, the statistic, the statistic is only 20% of them, right? Who, who actually, you know, kind of uh, producing. Yeah, so 800, um, you know, is a really good estimate, you know, per agent per year on revenue share. So I will say the goal, Michelle, is to have at least 10 people, you know, get to the leader level you know, personally attract 10 people. And then your goal is, you know, is to help these 10 people do the same thing you do, right? So if you can just do that, you know, your 10 people, and then if you help them, instead of keep working on your first level, you actually gonna spend a lot of time to help them, right? Some of them is gonna be your general. And then you help them work on your, their first level, which is your second level. You, you would have a hundred people on your second level. And right. we, we didn't even talk about the, three, the, the third, the fourth, the fifth, right? If we just talk about, you know, make it a five years ago, you know, to work on your first level and second level, you will more than exceed 75 agents in your total group count. And that's going to be more than $5,000 per year. When you break it down like that, it's super doable, right? You need to find 10 people, like really don't, don't think, you know, anything far. <laughs> so the, the calculation he did was based on everyone quarter capping. And your goal is if they come in and they're quarter cappers, just help them sell one more house, right? Or two more houses. And ideally they're half cappers then. But Michelle, if you know cappers, like people who would end up earning you $2,800, you need 18 of them to hit 50,000 a year. So 18 cappers would be 50,000. So any way you want to cut it or split it up, it's it's very possible. It's exciting. Wow. Thank you for breaking that down. That's yeah. so cool. Absolutely. It's a cool feeling to be like, oh, my mortgage is paid for. Like I can breathe a little bit or my car is paid for. Or, I can go on that vacation. Yeah. If you have a hundred cap in your group, you know, that, that's a, that's three hundred thousand dollars per year. Right. And, you know, and, and this is the, Amanda, this is actually what you told me. This is what I see, what I thought, you know, when I see this. Like, hey, if half the stuff that Amanda told me is true on this presentation, this still gonna work, right? If <laughs> even, you know, if even she bullshit me like 80% of it, the numbers still work. You know, so really I don't have any reason not to join, right? Because the 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 the, the map behind it, it just worked out really well, right? This is the best case scenario. And then you know, my worst case scenario is, is, is what? You know, people selling one, two house, three house a year, and I can still hit my freedom number. I'm in. Where do I sign up? <laughs> yeah it's yep. exciting so, your first five or ten agents is the hardest what i found is after you brought on like three you're like oh i can do this like this is this is doable i can be one of those people and then it's really fun like when i first started i was like i don't want a second job and then i was like i want to do it but i don't know how to do it and i'm nervous and now i'm like oh my gosh everyone should do this this is so much fun and so you'll kind of have to go through those phases but once you get ten, you'll you'll be hooked and you'll be able to really be comfortable and know what you're talking about, bring value to those people, and you'll actually get to see the money coming in. Yeah. Um, Amanda, um, can I share your um, your Excel spreadsheet? Remember the one that you did with me to yeah. for projection? You have it? Yeah, I have it. So let me share that real quick. I think it's gonna be a really uh, a really good one to uh, go over. Give me one second, let me pull it up, guys. Refresh. While he's pulling it up. How do you describe what you do? Like when someone asks you, like, what do you do? <laughs> and if you've kind of met them for the first time or. Me, it's, I would say I do all things real estate because it's, it's so open-ended, right? Like you can do commercial, yeah. you can do luxury. I do hedge fund stuff. I work with builders. I do, you know, coaching, mentoring, recruiting. So really anything related to real estate. All right. So let me pull those up. And I always ask them, what world are you in? I'm in the real estate world. Okay. Uh, stop sharing this. Can I ask you, like, because I guess sometimes when you're in these meetings and you're finding out about their goals and pain points, what if they, uh, what's your goals? Do you, how do you describe, like, what your business plan or goals? Is there a simple way you... 
everyone's will be different. Like for me, I've kind of already hit my goals. And so now my goal is helping everybody else hit their goals. So we have a group of 900 and something agents. And my goal is to have just over 2000 by the end of next year. And I want all those people to hit whatever is success to them. Um, oh, okay. so I know it was like exciting that we won number one in the world. And now I'm like, well, what's next? Like, <laughs> right? so now this is my next, my next level is helping everybody else hit their goals. Uh, but yeah, um, Amanda, if you want to go over this, you know, like the same way you go over that with me, um, I think it would really help, you know, with everybody is looking to, you know, track, you know, their number, you know, when it comes down to like, really like how this is yes. play out. I think know, you. Chris Grzowski is on here. I just did one for him and we called it Grizz Goals and we did a two year plan. Chris, do you remember what your number was? You, you're on mute. We can't hear you. Oh, he's got his little headphones on. Oh, I hear you. Hey. Very little, though. Uh, I don't remember the number. I have to look it up. So <laughs> you got to look at him. So I think it was. I think his was twenty thousand, but he's he's mostly focusing on recruiting and and hitting team. You know, big hitters. Um. So what I really liked about this is I could see, like, for me, if I just worked really hard and I made three hundred dollars the next month, that wasn't exciting because I could have gone and sold a house, right? Yeah. But for me, if I can look and go, okay, I'm going to work really hard, but in two years I'm making good money, and in three or four years I'm making unbelievable money, that's exciting for me. I can see the end picture. And so this this has a lot of buffers in it. Like we said, if half of it's true, it's still going to be great. Um, so this is, a, yeah, this is assuming everyone kind of quarter caps and they're worth $66.67 per month. And there's even a, a 60 day buffer in there. So if they join the company, they don't, we're assuming they don't do anything for 60 days. They're kind of team building, getting their stuff together, getting things in escrow, and then they'll start being worth $66. But what I love about that is like Michelle, for example, if you were like, how do I make $5,000 a month? The, and everyone's will kind of grow differently. So normally your first year, you're, you're growing closer to 20%. And then as your group grows, your percentage of growth slows down. Mm -hmm. um, so what I like about that is, let's say we started January 2022, and he brought on five people. Well, to be able to stay on track with his goals, let's say his goal was to hit within two years, you know, at the end of 2022, 10,000. He has to be able to hit 191 people by the end of that that time period, which sounds really stressful and overwhelming. Thank you, I'm blind. Stressful and <laughs> overwhelming. Um, but what's not overwhelming is to go, okay, January I have five. By February, someone in my group just needs to bring on one agent. I need six. And I can just stay with that until June, I need 10. And by the end of the year, I need 12. That's not so scary, right? We can do that. And then by the end of that next year, if we just bring on two or three people per month, and by the end of the year, we have brought on 64 people, we're on track with 50 agents, you know? And so if I was like, hey, can you bring on 200 agents and you'll hit your goal? You'll be like, I don't even want to start that. That's just like big and scary. And, you know, you have to break it down. But if for this, you can go, okay, I only need to add on one this month or two to this month. And it could be someone on your second or third or fourth level. Um, and by the end of the year, you, only, you have only added 12. This is really helpful to where you can look at it and go, Okay, yes, in a couple of years, I'm making 80,000 and then 200,000 and then 500,000. And that's when it starts to get exciting. So if y'all don't have this, we can send you one. Um, mm -hmm. But it's it's very, it's based on everybody quarter capping and it's still really exciting. Yeah. And back then, you know, we have uh, what we call a revenue share calculator, you know, but EXP kind of make it, you know, stop using it. So now we come up with a spreadsheet, which is even better. So you can kind of see, you know, like year over year, right? So for example, Michelle, you know, your goal is 74 people, right? You know, so let's set it a three years ago, right? You know, if you fail, you you go to a four years ago, so what, right? You still gonna be able, you know, to hit, you know, three thousand between two, three thousand and 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 five thousand dollar every, um, you know, for 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 three years. First of all, it's gonna be slow. You know, it's like a snow snow snow. You know, your first five is gonna be the hardest. Whatever you do, just try to get to five, and then from that, and then from that, you can start uh, gaining momentum, right? So this is what we call like we 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 don't. We kind of uh, we kind of recruit through people, right? Maybe you run out of your sphere of influence, but 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 the people that you brought on, you know, they have a sphere of influence that you know that you haven't even tapped into. So you would use that, and then you would really spend the time, you know, on coaching and mentoring, you know, your your builder and leader, and then you together, you guys would tap into the network, and then you're gonna see the number five, six, seven, ten, and then all of a sudden, I think my magic number is fifty, Amanda. The moment I hit 50, it just go to 100 in like a couple months, right? So everybody, they have like a magic number. You know, once you hit the magic number, when you have like the right leader in the group, it just like go up so fast, like a parabola, you know, what whatever that magic number is for you, I don't know. 
you need to you know figure it out and then you know man when you see that momentum just catch on it and never let go scroll over i want to see what's after you make 230 yes 660 that's awesome yeah so exciting Yep. So, um, but yeah, for some people really, you know, that, um, that they really want to look at a number, you know, I will show them this. Uh, and I, I want to add the, uh, you know, another column here. So that way I kind of want to compare myself with the actual number. So that way, you know, we can, you know, make the, the, the correct projection, right? Now the market is slowing down. So I would say, you know, like, hey, instead of 600, what happened if I can only have a second, instead of 800, what happened, you know, with $600 per agent, what would my number look like, right? And if I, I don't like this number, I better go here and then, you know, I better up I, my activity, right? So instead of, you know, 9% for next year growth, you know, I want 10%, right? If 10% is not enough, you know, I need to up it to, you know, 12%. So that way I can see the number that I like to see here. And then you really treat it like a business. Oh, I think we lost Amanda. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why, uh, why we wait for her to get back really that this is all I want to share today. So Michelle, um, Sydney, I don't know if you have any other question. Um, you can go ahead and share this to, to the group and then, you know, just find another business partner, um, your, your accountability buddy, um, you know, or your sponsor, go over this with them and then, you know, keep each other accountable and treat it like a business, right? If you treat it like a hobby, you know, it's going to cost you like a hobby, but if you treat it like a business, it's going to pay you like a business. Hey, Hui, I have a quick question. Yes, sir. Um, so how do you overcome the, the worriness? The what? The worriness. So um, I had a problem where I, you know, um, I want to reach out to someone, but as you mentioned, the market is really slowing down and Let's say myself is not doing really good with the with the you know buying and selling. Uh -huh. So how can I relay that and and help someone if I cannot overcome my my fear first? Yeah. yeah so so I'm gonna go back to um you know to the workbook right. Um, remember there's a column that said a limiting belief. You know so you believe that you don't have any value to add to them right. So so you need to cross it out and then your your new limiting belief is that you know like hey. You know, even though, right, even though my, my production is slow, I still gonna find a way to help this particular agent. And, you know, and how do I help them, right? One of the best way for them, for, for you to help them is to connect them to me, to Amanda, you know, to Min, you know, to to, and to, to all the great leader in, in the group, right? And then let let us help them, right? The, the friend that, 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 that you're talking to, I might be able to help them, right? But in order for me to help them, I need you to connect me to them, right? If you don't do the connection, I don't know who they are. I don't know what they look like. I don't know what they dress. I don't know what they eat. You know, if I don't know anything about, you know, your the, the agent that you're working on, and then I cannot help you. So, you know, just, you know, the, the cool thing about Revenue Share, you know, just become the connection, the bridge, you know, that you, you actually provide a ton of value to them already, right? Without, uh, without even directly providing value. And I kind of, um, I want to bring uh, Amy point here, you know, be, be resourceful, don't be a resource, right? Although I don't know how to fix a house, you know, I have, I know somebody do, that I can fix a house, that I can connect you. So instead of, you know, trying to do everything on your own, you know, try to figure out what kind of problem that they have, and then you connect them, you know, to the resource that you have. Hey, you need help with lead generation. Let me send you to, to model training, you know, with, with Joanna, right? She's an amazing, she's an, she's an amazing icon agent, you know, and she cured, you know, with KB Core. You and me, we need to go here and learn from Joanna, right? That, that just the training tomorrow is a ton of value already. Kelvin, to also answer your question, like for me, believe it or not, I'm naturally really introverted and I hate talking to people I don't know and I get really nervous. And so for production, I went to this coaching class one time and they, this has really helped me. They said, you can either be grateful or you can be scared. You can't really have both emotions going on at the same time. And so with the mindset of, I'm really grateful for the opportunity of being able to create generational wealth. And I'm grateful that I'm with EXP and I've got all these people and resources that can help other agents coming at it with that mindset, even with production, right? I'm grateful that I have the knowledge and skill set that I can really help this seller, really help this buyer. It kind of pushes the scare away because it's really hard to feel both. And so um, even like speaking, I, I think that you, the nerve for me anyway, the nervousness never goes away. <laughs> Learn to overcome it and just tell yourself, I'm grateful for this opportunity. I better take full advantage of it. 
yeah, I, I don't think the nerve is gonna never gonna go away, Kevin. Like even when I pick up the phone, even though I do it, I, I still scare, right? I still don't know what's going on. But if you remember what John Sai talked about, you know, he kind of de detached himself from, from the outcome, right? I did the invitation. I invite you to sit in front of Tao. I invite you to sit in front of Kai, to Amanda, to me. If you don't take the opportunity, buddy, that's on you. I, I do what I can to help you. But if you cannot do that, do good luck, right? And then, you know, but you don't you don't say that to them, but, you, you know, internally, you know that you do everything you can. And if, uh, if they refuse to take the opportunity, you will simply, you know, cycle them back into your follow-up system and then you find another opportunity to follow up, right? And then just come back to, um, you know, to the point, another point I want to make, you know, it's just like a deck of cards, right? You have a tree, you're not going to turn it into an ace. You need to put the tree away and then you keep storing to your deck of cards until you find the ace. Yeah, if you get stuck with your deck, you know, with the three or the four, and you try to turn them into an ace, it's never gonna happen. Yep. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ray. That's very clear. I mean, I don't have a fear of calling, but I'm have I'm having a fear of you know. Yeah, I think people are gonna joy and then realize that oh, Kelvin is is not good at production, or Kelvin is doesn't Kelvin is that. I had that fear. Yeah, so so this is a really good point, right? Um, if you do it by yourself, or if, if Kevin have to be, Kevin have to be, let's say, you know, like a top producer in order to attract, and then this model is not going to work, right? Yeah, so in, in, in order for, but by showing that, you know, like, hey, let me help you by bringing to, you know, by, by, by bringing you to talk to Amanda, you, you subconsciously, you know, um, telling your agent that like, hey, you know, that's, you know, if, if you're going to do this, you know, next time, you know, if, if you need help and then there's going to be other people in the group, right? If you try to do, do everything, you know, uh, so let's say, you know, if I, I just have an apartment with Tao, right? And all those Tao can completely close, you know, this, this agent. She did not do that, right? She still, she still set up an, uh, an apartment with me and then she still let me do the explain. And then subconsciously, he going to think that, you know, like, hey, if I join, you know, Tao is still going to help me, right? And then, then who is still going to help me? And then, you know, I have a chance to know all the people in the group. If you try to do everything and then, you know, in his subconscious mind, he's going to think that, hey, if I'm going to do agent attraction later on, I'm going to do everything too. And, you know, seem like Kevin do a shit ton of work just to get me. So I'm not going to do it. Subconsciously, they're going to think like that. And you're going to have your own unique value proposition. Like for me, like if they want to talk about how to build out a team or have systems or do production, call me. If you want to talk about how to, like you're great at stitching videos together. Don't call me for that. Instagram, don't call me. YouTube, I have no idea. You need to go talk to men or Tao. And so just know, like I tell people, I'm connected to so many different talented people. Let me know what's important to you and I'll connect you to the right person. And that way they don't anticipate that I'm going to know it. Because anything techie or even social media wise, it's tragic, right? But I can sell a house. You might not be on point on selling a house yet, but you're really good at other things. And so kind of just be a directory for them. Yeah. And um yeah, so, so, so during the meantime, uh, while you work on your journey, you know, to, to, to get really good at your niche, you know, you can borrow our credential, right? Uh, but yeah, you, just to get a uh, Amanda point, right, you know, try to come up with your unique value proposition, right? And, and everybody have one, right? Why would I buy and sell house with Kevin, right? Why would I, you know, do X and Y, Z with Hui? Because we have a unique value uh, proposition and, and you need to come, you know, kind of, uh, you, you need to figure it out. Like, hey, I buy and sell house with Kevin because, you know, I, I joined Kevin because X, Y, and Z. And then, you know, you pull us in. You'll always be nervous, by the way. It doesn't go away. It doesn't go away. <laughs> Thank you so much for in, Amanda. That's, that's so much clear. Love it. Yeah, I think uh, we can wrap it up, Amanda. And then I will see everybody on the Thursday, um, um, you know, Christmas holiday party. And, but yeah. Looking forward, I'm, looking forward to it. I'm leaving right after the Zoom actually to go to the event center and check it out and make sure the wine list is right and send them all the videos and cool things. So, and I'll bring, I'll bring these as well, but I'll, I'll see you all on Thursday. And if you're not in Texas or you can't make it, we will definitely celebrate together. Yep. Cool, cool. All right. Bye guys. And then, um, and then yeah, Sydney, we come up with, uh, you know, so this, this concludes the, uh, the, the six week presentation about Asian attraction. Um, we're going to have the, the video link posted and then, uh, you know, me and Sydney, we're going to come, uh, you know, um, yeah, we, we're going to plan something, you know, pretty awesome <laughs> next week or so. I love it. Work on okay. your work.
we, we spent a lot of time and love into this just to help you. But I know that you're capable of it and we want to be a support system to you. So use the tools you have, reach out for anything and we'll see you soon. Okay. All right. Bye everybody. Bye. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. See you.